So let's start off. Uh, again, guys, no, every quarter we do our, our regular fund review. Kung ano yung mga top performing, performing natin ng mga UITFs and mutual funds. Okay? So, uh, itong mga figures natin is nakuha natin from uh, the website ng mutual funds, yung pifa.com.ph and of course, para sa mga UITF sa uitf.com.ph. Okay? So, eto. I-share ko lang ang screen natin. So, unahin muna natin ang mutual funds. No? Tingnan natin. So, for our quarterly review of our fund performance as of uh, 31 March, so as of end, uh, end first quarter of the year. So, we got this figure from... Uh, website ng mutual funds which is uh, worldwide.tifa.com.ph and for the UITF for uitf.com.ph so let's begin first with mutual funds okay so yeah for the actively managed equity funds number three is field equity dividend yield fund at minus 29.4 percent number two is philam strategic growth fund at minus uh 28.95 percent and number one is First Metro Save and Learn Equity Fund at minus 27.83%. So kung mapapansin natin guys, no, ang mga equity funds natin ngayon year to date are down. Okay? So walang equity fund na positive ngayon. In fact, kung may equity fund na positive, eh, magulat kayo kung anong laman niya, no? So all of them are down of course in a down market or in a bear market. It's just a math, it's such a question of how down are you are. Okay? How down are you? So, ibig sabihin, yung mga best performing actively managed equity fund would be ones na na manage yung risk nila at yung mga may pinakakonting negative. Of course, yung nasa baba nito, mas malaki yung negative nila. Uh, alalahan din natin, guys, no, na hindi lang performance ang tinitinan natin kapag up ang market, tinitinan din natin ang performance ng isang fund or fund manager kapag down ang market. Kasi nakikita mo rin yung skill nila dito, eh, na hindi porke magaling sila ng up market, dapat makita mo rin how they are also managing the risk. Kumbaga, uh, I would imagine yung mga fund na to is nung up market medyo nakapagbenta na ng kaunti, kaya may cash position, kaya nung nag-down ng market, okay, hindi na sila down as much. And these are actively managed equity funds. Anong ibig sabihin nitong actively managed equity fund? Kumbaga, uh, to cut a long story short, ito yung mga fund manager na ano, na sila yung dumidiscarte on your behalf. What stocks to buy, when to buy, if, and when to sell. Sa baba naman nito are the top three index tracker funds, okay, that we have in the market. Number three is Sun Life Prosperity Philippine Stock Index Fund at minus 31.2%. First Metro Save and Learn Philippine Index Fund at minus 30%. And First Metro Consumer Fund at minus 20%. Now, what are index tracker funds? Index tracker funds, ito yung meron silang sila na particular index in the case of uh, Metro Seven Learn Philippine Index Fund and Sun Life, they are following yung PSEI or yung basket ng uh, stocks ng ating market na kung mag sila yung pinakamalaki na isip kung ano movement, uh, yun na rin yung movement ng buong stock market. This one, First Metro Consumer Fund naman, ang... Uh, tinatrack niya na index is uh, the one from ano from MSCI kumbaga ang fund na to ang laman niya are ano are consumer stocks so kung gusto niyo ng medyo consumer ang flavor ng stocks you can consider this one next for balanced fund top 3 number 3 is Atram from ATR Asset Management at minus 14.4% NCM Mutual Fund okay at minus 11% and Atram again, dynamic allocation at minus 9.48%. Now, mas kaunti ang negative ni balance fund. Kasi again, alalaha, uh, alalahanin natin, balance funds are invested both in stocks and bonds. Usually for balance funds, no 50-50 ang ano yan, ang 50 stocks, 50 bonds. But some balance fund, like alam ko itong Atram dynamic allocation, uh, it's a swinger fund. No? So kung pakit ang market, maganda equities, mas more of equities yan. Kapag down ang market, mas... Nagba, ma, mas nagbabans yan. So, uh, again, since balance fund, mas kaunti ang return nila. But then again, since meron silang equity na portion, then of course, in a down market like what we are experiencing right now, pabigat ang equities. So, expect na negative din sila. Next, for peso bond fund. Okay? For peso bond fund, 
Uh, number three is Atram Corporate Bond Fund. Number two is ALFM Peso Bond Fund. And number one is Coco Life Fixed Income Fund with these returns. So Peso Bond Funds, again, are those funds na naka-invest in fixed income products like government securities or in the case of ATRAM, corporate bond fund, in corporate bonds. Ang maganda sa peso bonds is that you can invest for as little as like 5,000 pesos. You already have a basket of bonds already. Kasi pag lumabas ka sa market, isang bond mo, makakakuha ka for a minimum 50,000. Isang bond lang yan. At least for this one, 5,000 basket of bonds na. Lastly, for mutual funds. So the top three performers for money market funds are... Number three is First Metro Save and Learn Money Market Fund of, at 0.72, Sun Life at 0.74, and ALFM Money Market Fund at 0.76%. So what are money market funds? It's a basket of uh, high-yielding time deposits and short-term government bonds na, yeah, maganda to for ano, no? And corporate papers as well. And it's a good, ano, it's a good... Um, should we say, alternative for bank deposits. Kasi ang money market fund, uh, you can have it uh, for as little as one day holding period lang. Tapos kung makikita mo year to date, no? So, ibig sabihin from January hanggang March 31 lang, 0.7 na ang return nila. E eh, ang iyong savings account is nasa 0.5 for the full year. So, it's a good alternative to place your uh, hard-earned money and a portion even of your emergency fund in money market funds. Okay. So let's now go to our UITFs. Okay? For UITFs, unahin natin. Ito. Um, yung unang portion would be the equity fund. So number three is PBCOMS, Value Equity Fund at minus 29.5%. UCPB at minus 28%. The High Dividend Fund. And the UCPB Equity Fund at minus 27%. Again, guys. Uh, since down ng market, then of course we are expecting equity funds to be negative. Next off, sa banda baba, we would see the uh, top four balanced funds. So you have their AD Capital at minus 17, UCPB at minus 16, uh, China Bank, um, Atrium Philippine Balance Feeder Fund at minus 14, and PBCOM's Best Balanced Fund, which is the best performer at minus 12%. So, kung makikita natin, no, mukhang maganda nga ang performance na mutual fund in terms of the balanced fund category. Again, balikan natin, no? Um, both mutual funds and UITFs, okay, iba-iba yan. Uh, parehong may naka-invest sa equity fund, parehong may naka-invest sa balanced fund, parehong may naka-invest sa bond, parehong may naka-invest sa money market, okay? Uh, magkaiba lang sila ng structure. Next, for bond funds, okay? So, meron tayong long-term bond funds. Ito yung mga bond fund na kumbaga ang laman ng bonds nila on the average are tumatagal na mga 6 or 7 years or more. Okay? So, we got this from uitf.com.ph again. Ang top performer nila is the UCPB Peso Bond Fund at 0.78%. Medium-term bond fund. Ano naman ang medium-term bond fund? Ito yung mga bond fund na on the average ang um, kumbaga ang laman ng mga bonds nila ay yung mga for uh, two, four years, mga ganyan. So, we have Philippine Business Bank's Diamond Fund at minus 1.26%. And lastly, for the money market fund, we have the top performers. We have AB Capital, Capital's Shorter Fund at 0.43%, UCPB's Cash Management Fund at 0.52%, and CTBC Money Market Fund at 0.68%. Again, uh, lumalabas mukhang mas magandang performer ang mga mutual funds. So, uh, ang tanong is saan ba tayo mag invest Well, ang sagot ng namin dyan usually is that um, you invest with first and foremost kung saan kayo nagbabangko. Because again, um, eh kung halimbawa, pag-usapan natin money market fund, eh kung 10 kilometro ang tayo na trust banking corporation from you, mamamasahe ka pa, mag-believe ka pa, di ba? Tapos, ang pinag-usapan na difference lang is maliit lang, baka lugi ka pa. Di ba? So, uh, first and foremost, we recommend uh, or malapit and convenient for you just to build up your habit of investing. Besides, uh, kung makikita ninyo no, sa playlist natin of our best performing funds, um, walang number one consistently. Okay? Whereas the past, parating number one civil equity, 
minsan number one si Sudimo, ngayon iba na yung number one. So, wala talagang number one consistently, okay? Um, siguro ang mapapahilangan is again, go for funds that are easily accessible to you. And dun tayo sa nga, makikita natin mga nasa top quartil, so mga top 25% of the funds. Again, you can check out the website of the mutual funds sa uh, worldwideweb.pfa.com.ph and sa uh, UITFs, uh, uitf.com.ph. So there, guys, ang ating uh, quarterly right. fund performance reviews. Yes. Okay? Yes. Wala naman akong kakaining donut. <laughs> ah, wala na. <laughs> ah, sorry, <laughs> oh, uh, siguro, uh, let's just clarify. No? Yung pinakita mong figures, ito yung year to date. Tama ba? Year to date as of March 31. So first quarter. Uh, yeah. So uh, ang okay. nakita natin yung mga low risk funds like yung mga bonds saka mga fixed okay. income. Uh, yeah. this, despite yung stock market crash, no, sila positive pa rin kahit na 0.7%. Alam mo yun? Mm-hmm. So positive yeah. pa rin. So again, Kasi the naman import- na talaga nila is mga bonds eh. Oo. And yeah. uh, again, the importance of ano of uh, diversification. Yeah, hindi lahat nasa stock market, hindi lahat nasa bond fund. Meron